So uh, I've just had a bit of a last minute call on a beautiful uh, Wednesday evening from my mate Stuart who's got a moody here at the marina and he's asked me to go sailing with him. Uh, but it's a bit last minute, he's already got the boat waiting in the lock so I've got to run. We've got to go over the bridge. Yeah. I'm fully in, what's that, a camera? <laughs> How'd you get on doing I it on your the, own? I put the middle line yeah. down to the, uh, the cleat there and that held her in. Yeah. And then I run up the foot board, put yeah. the forward one on and then move back. It's easy when it's bollards, isn't it? Because yeah. it's, it's just quite yeah, simple. Yeah, and there's no wind tonight. No it's wind, I wouldn't have done it. Absolute mill pond. Yeah, I think so. Ricky's having to really concentrate on that. You can tell that, look. And we're sailing quite nicely, just drifting along with the tide, I think. Yeah, you love moody, don't you, Stuart? I do like a moody boat. Okay, so we're going to tour Betty. How tidy is she? Let's have a look. Here's the heads. So we've got a neutral uh, sink. This comes up, so you can... There we go. We put that up like a shower and have a proper shower. Mainly we do a bit of bacon brunch in the galley, because uh, that's about all we've got left, I think. Or oh, we did do... Fray Bentos pies, shall we see if we can find them? Let's have a hunt in the stores and see what's available to cook. Uh, oh, we've got a bit of pasta, we love a bit of pasta, so there's pasta in the stores. Let's see, oh, here we go. Traditional fare, we have a bit of Sainsbury's bacon brunch, ideal, never goes off. And also to go with that, healthy eating. Fray Bentos pie, look at that. Never go hungry on Betty. Ah, uh, now here we've got the, uh, we've got the engine compartment here. You can see through there, no, a bit dark in there today. We've got the back cabin, which is obviously the master suite. A bit untidy, because you just got all the bedding everywhere. But a fair old size. Some charts, look, that's something that Ricky doesn't use. Paper charts, you know, which I still like. Uh, you've got the hatch up there. Renewed this year. Television, which you can never seem to tune in. We're in the forward cabin, which has got all the seat cushions for the cockpit. I'll dehumidify there just to keep the damp out. A bit of an issue with the front, new front hatches. Left that open on trip back. Rip switch got a bit wet. So yeah, we here we go. We've got a navigation station. We've got another GPS plotter, Ray Marine. We've got uh, a, a radar doesn't work and a another. VHF radio. So there you go. That's a whistle stop tour. This is the main, uh, which falls falls into the main on into the main mast rather than on the boom. Uh, and she runs out quite freely now. We've had to get the angle of the of the boom right to get that right. And then furling head sail. So everything is cockpit led. You can see from the lines here. And it's nice and easy. All afraid from the cockpit. So you don't really need to come out here at all. It's nice on a day like today. The decks, my father's very pleased with the decks because he jet washed them all. And they have come up quite nicely, I'll give him that. Because the boats do get filthy dirty. Particularly Ricky's because he gets pooed on. Uh, yeah, there you go, there's a nice shot up the mast. Quite heavy, how heavy is she? Uh, 
uh, displacement, I think she's 10 tonne displacement. She's about four and a half tonnes, isn't she? Out of the water. But yeah, going. So this is the original boat beer that Stuart introduced me to. Uh, Stuart taught me sailing, and the first thing he taught me about sailing was the importance of a boat beer. Isn't that right, Stuart? Absolutely correct. So you're gonna, you get to do the original boat beer review of the original boat beer. Boat beer reviews. Alright, so I'll give it a go. Give it a go. Have a go on that. Yep, that is definitely finest boat beer. Uh, and never knowingly undersold, this is very, very expensive. Obviously, you have to pay £3.99 for sort of 10 of them. Um, <laughs> Which is a lot. That's about 39 Point nine pence is, a bottle. And my father used to throw these empty ones over the side. We managed to v very stop naughty. Him, stop him doing that. We don't now. do that anymore. No, because he used to say they float back to France and get filled up again, and, and then we said no, they don't. So they don't but do but that. he is in his eighties, yes, so he does yes. do these sorts of things. But but we've we've trained him better. But we do we do like that any of these from um, Asda or Tesco or or I think even Audi now uh, you know a new upstart will do these boat beers. That's so quite important. You you don't have to go to France for these. You no, can get no, these locally. Now it used to be years ago the only way to get them was France at a really good price. Now locally you can get these cheaper than you can because the pound has weakened substantially. And how's it taste? Uh, it tastes um. Like lager, yes, it's very good. Just I, I like, like lager, you'd say. I like them cold, though. It's not quite. It's not quite had long enough in the fridge. I do like them out of the fridge, like a nice cold. But it is about cold thirty-two cold. degrees today, it and we haven't had the enough. fridge on long enough. No, because they're not quite at temperature yet. So but recommend drink chilled. Drink chilled, definitely. Yeah. Yes, because then you don't notice the the, the taste as much. <laughs> Stuart's a bit unhappy. We've just come in, which was fine. He did really well getting uh, Betty in, but um, there's been a mishap. That is supposed to be on there and is not, and it's broken. And luckily, in the safety of the marina, because if we were out at sea and we were relying on that, that would have been very distressing because that could have been a man overboard situation. But it's happened here. Um, and now we need to get it fixed because we want it to be sorted so we can go away at the weekend on Betty. Um, so Stuart is understandably upset. this video we had a lot of fun making it if sailing summer breeze makes you feel fine then tap to subscribe